Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Virgin Theater here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. Bob, welcome. Uh, it all goes down Friday, November 5th at 5 p.m. Pacific, all exclusively on ESPN+. Plus. We have a great undercard, Las Vegas native Andres Cortez. He's in a junior lightweight bout. Joseph Adorno on the undercard. He's in a lightweight bout. Undefeated middleweight prospect Tyler Howard. And the pro debut of 17-year-old lightweight prospect Abdullah Mason from Cleveland, Ohio. Also on the undercard. But it's not about the undercard right now. It is about the main event. Three belts on the line. A unification bout that we've been waiting for for a long time. The WBO junior lightweight champion of the world, Michaela Mayer taking on the IBF world champion, Maiva Amadouche, in a title unification bout. Also, the Ring Magazine, the vacant Ring Magazine belt on the line as well. Bob, I want to start with you. We've been talking about this fight for a long time. Michaela's wanted this fight. The fight's happened. It's here. What do you think? Well, I think it's terrific. It, it's a tribute to women boxing uh, that uh, the best women in a particular weight class are getting together uh, to fight each other. Uh, I think that's very, very good for women's boxing. But I don't want to preach. But if women's boxing is to take uh, a prominent place, which it hasn't and which it should, it has to, I, in my opinion, uh, be more like what boxing fans are used to. And in men's, and we look to men's boxing. In men's boxing, the rounds are three minutes. And in women's boxing, they're two. Why is there a difference? God only knows. Now, <laughs> Lou DiBella uh, told me that there's something about women having uh, uh, less uh, cranium uh, protection so that they couldn't, they get knocked, they, they get concussed easily. What it should happen in a championship fight is it should be three minute rounds. And if we're worried about that, reduce it to eight rounds rather than 10 rounds. And we have to look at other sports, individual sports. And the one that comes to mind immediately is a, is a sport where women's participation is as interesting and as financially rewarding as men's. And that's the sport of professional tennis. In professional tennis, women play a game, same point scoring as men. A set is the same as women's boxing and women's tennis as it is in men's tennis. And the only difference is in a Grand Slam the women pay, play the best two out of three, the men the best three out of five. But in their normal tournaments, they all play, each men and women, the best two out of five, two out of three sets. Now, that enables people who follow a sport to see that the rules, everything are the same. Once you cut the rounds from three to two minutes, you, you, you're telling the world that women's boxing is different, maybe probably inferior to men's boxing. Now, if you're worried about concussions and so forth, which, you know, I'm not a doctor, do three-minute rounds and regulate the number of rounds 
that women could fight. The same way as in tennis, they regulate the number of sets that women play vis-a-vis -vis men. But the rules in the sets of the games are the same. They're identical. And if we want to bring women's boxing to the forefront, we should advocate for that. And, you know, nobody, it, it, a, a promoter asking for that is like baying in the wind. I think women's box, boxers, if they agree with me and they want to elevate the sport, should advocate for three-minute rounds. Well, let's, uh, let's ask the champions that are on the stage. I guess we'll just pivot right out of that to you, Michaela. What do you think about adding uh, uh, that extra minute to the rounds? Um, definitely from experience, I know that that extra minute would change a fight. And if you look at the men's 12-round, um, you know, three-minute boxing match, halfway through the fight, round six, and our fight's over. But at round six, that fight is taking a turn. And the more conditioned fighter, the sharper fighter, um, the higher skilled fighter starts to really shine through and make a statement. And I think that if we had that little extra time, you would see a big difference. You'd have more knockouts, more finishes, and the cream would ri rise to the top. Cham, I'm going to come to you as well. Uh, to everybody at home, I'm going to do my best to do some French translation uh, this afternoon. Uh, Qu'est-ce que vous parlez, uh, pensez uh, ex, uh, de, de nos rounds de trois minutes, deux minutes ou trois minutes? C'est quoi ce que vous pensez de ça? Uh, very, uh, it's uh, very cool. Uh, for me, for me, uh, c'est uh, c'est un super, uh, c'est une super chose parce que trois minutes pour moi c'est uh, c'est favorable avec mon style de boxe. She said three minutes for her is favorable. She can accomplish more in a three-minute round as opposed to a two-minute round. Uh, champ, I want to come to you, Michaela. On paper, her accomplishments are, are, are long. She's an Olymp Olympian, longtime champion. Uh, she's by far the biggest test of your career. We would we all agree on that. What's your mindset heading into this fight on Friday? Uh, my mindset is that I'm here to challenge myself to the best of my ability throughout my career. You know, she does have a, a great record, and she's been champ, what, now for six years? But in my mind, six years of being champ and not pressing to unify and that's not what I want for my career that's not the vision I have for my career my division and women's boxing I want the best fights and so you know I had to go out there and do what I had to do to make this fight happen and it is what it is so uh, I have plenty of experience as well yeah we're looking forward to Friday night champ vous êtes champion du monde depuis cinq ans et vous avez défendu votre le titre six fois uh, Qu'est-ce que cela signifie pour vous de, de mener un combat d'unification après tout que vous avez accompli en boxe euh, Ce combat d'unification, je l'attends depuis longtemps. J'ai beaucoup travaillé pour ce combat. Je l'attends et je suis impatiente, euh, impatiente qu'il arrive parce que finalement, ça fait des années, euh, des années que je travaille et que, et que j'attends mon opportunité et ma chance. I asked the champ, I asked her, I said, you've been a world champion now for five years. You've defended the title six times. What does uh, this fight, a unification fight, mean to you uh, after all that you've accomplished in boxing? And she said, this is an exciting opportunity for me. Uh, I've been in the sport a long time. Uh, I've defended the title many times. And now having the opportunity to unify the titles is, is an opportunity that I'm not going to let slip away. I hope I did that justice. I know some of your, your camp are here, so I hope I'm doing okay on the translation. I'm getting the thumbs up. That, that's good. <laughs> You're impressed, huh, Bob? You didn't know I could pull out the French. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this guy can do everything. <laughs> Give me some tap shoes, and let's, let's get the song and dance going. Uh, the titles at a 130 pounds for you, have been, they've been fractured for a long time, and, and you've hinted at it now. This opportunity in Las Vegas, your team is here to unify at 130 uh, it's the first time that this has happened in over a decade. How exciting is that for you, not only you, but your entire camp? Yeah, this is, I mean, everything that we've been working for, I've said from the beginning, it's no secret that this is the fight of my career, the biggest fight of my career. Every fight is important, but, you know, it got me to this position, and this is my chance to show that I really am the best in the division and that I belong, and um, three belts on the line, that's a lot. It's the first time the Ring Magazine belt has been put on the line for this division, and I think this is the perfect fight to have 
it on the line for. Of all the women in the division, um, I do believe that we're the best, and I think the, they made a good decision by putting that on the line. Vous avez dit que Michaela n'avait jamais affronté une adversaire euh, comme vous. Euh, que possé que possédez-vous euh, que ses adversaires précédents n'avaient pas Ces euh, adversaires, adversaires précédents n'avaient pas mon agressivité, mon physique, mon expérience. Et euh, je pense que, que, que pour elle, ce sera une expérience en plus de, de me boxer, en fait. Mais juste une expérience. I, I asked the champ that Michaela has never faced anybody like her. What do you possess that her previous opponents do not possess or have not possessed? And she said, my experience first and foremost, but I'm also very aggressive. Uh, I'm very physical, and I'm going to come at her in a way that other opponents have not in the past. Michaela, what's your response to that? Uh, you know, obviously we started our conversation together that this is probably the toughest test to date for you. Hearing that she's going to be aggressive and come at you, uh, what does that make you think? I mean, that's no secret. We knew that from the very beginning. We study our opponents all the time. We knew from the beginning that she was going to come out aggressive. We don't expect her to switch up and start boxing me, um, although we plan for that too, just in case. <laughs> but uh, we know her style, and we've trained really well for it. We had really good sparring for it. And I've faced plenty of styles. I mean, coming up in the amateurs over 100 fights, I have faced plenty of styles. Um, but, but you're right, going 10 rounds with aggressive style like her, in my 15 pro fights, I have not faced that. But we are absolutely prepared for it. And if she thinks that she can come straight at me and bully me and overwhelm me with punches the way she's done with her last opponents, that's just not going to be the case. There are two other champions at 130, Terry Harper and uh, Mi Choi who are promoted by Eddie Hearn. What is the message you hope to send Friday with your performance against your opponent? Yeah, this is, I think, this winning this fight and performing really well is going to solidify me as the, the top player in this division. And uh, I opt, I've been wanting to unify. I absolutely want to have an undisputed champion in this division by next year. And so one fight at a time, but I'm looking for big fights only. So get through Hamadouche this Friday and then definitely on to either Harper or Choi. Ça fait 6 ans et 13 combats depuis que vous avez perdu un combat. C'est de fait contre Delphine Persoon. Le reste de votre carrière, comment est-ce que vous avez pris de ce défait que vous êtes ici maintenant? Pour moi, la défaite contre Delphine Persoon, ce n'est pas vraiment une défaite. C'était en Belgique, chez elle. C'était en tout début de ma carrière. Et euh, donc pour moi, c'était plus une expérience qu'autre chose. Après, je suis, je suis vite passé à autre chose parce que, comme je l'ai dit, je ne l'ai pas vécu comme une, comme une vraie défaite. J'ai demandé le champ, j'ai dit que c'était 6 ans et 13 fights depuis que vous avez perdu un combat, et c'était à Delphine Persoon. Comment a-t-il perdu sa carrière Parce que c'était une minute. And uh, she said it was early on in her career. She learned a lot from the defeat, obviously. She hasn't lost since. Uh, and it, it, she always remembers that defeat and carries it with her into every match. And she's learned from it and, and has moved on. Um, vous êtes un uh, policier en France. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez plus d'adrénaline dans le ring ou uh, quand vous travaillez ou, uh, dans la police? I don't understand. Vous travaillez comme avec un policier en France. Est-ce que vous avez plus de nervous, how do you say, nervous energy, boxing ou à la police? J'ai passé plus d'énergie dans la boxe pour l'instant parce que c'est vrai que là les les gros combats les gros combats sont sont au rendez-vous pour moi. Néanmoins, j'aime bien j'aime bien mon métier de policier. Je suis aussi passionné par mon métier de policier. I asked the champ. I said, do you, you work as a police officer in France, and do you get more nervous working as a police officer or when you step into the ring? And it was the ring. She, uh, the adrenaline and the excitement of walking into the ring is something that can't be duplicated, and, and not at all like working as a police officer in France. Félicitations, uh, travailler en, en police. Uh, je, je savais quoi? I just congratulated her. So I had no idea she worked at a police officer until I looked at the note that Evan Corn gave me, the best in the business, Evan Corn over there. Um, now I heard you have some rock and roll reinforcements coming Friday night. You want to talk about that a little bit? What can we expect from your old friend uh, Nita Strauss coming helping you? Uh, yeah, believe it or not, for those who don't know, before my boxing days, I <laughs> was in all-girl rock metal band as a teenager. Um, 
And my singer and guitar player at the time was Nita Strauss, and now she is the best female guitar player in the world. Uh, lead guitarist for Alice Cooper and many more. Um, I'm recording artists two albums now, so she'll be coming out Friday to help me with the walk into the ring. C'est mais exciting. Uh, votre fa fa favori uh, aspect de Las Vegas ici avec nous en Las Vegas. Mon ma pensée favorite, mon souvenir favori, c'est ça? Oui. Um, C'était quand j'ai vu le César Palace, César Palace, tous les, les beaux monuments qu'il y a ici que, que je peux pas voir en France, les monuments que je vois aussi dans les films, je les vois ici. I just asked her about being in Las Vegas for the fight and is she enjoying uh, Vegas and the hospitality and she said yes, uh, loving Caesar's Palace, all the landmarks that I see in movies, being able to see them up close and personal has been very exciting to be here in Las Vegas. Well, Bob, anything that you'd like to add before we wrap up this afternoon about this incredible unification bout between two incredible champions? Yeah, we, the tickets are uh, going very, very well. Uh, we're going to have uh, a full house or close to a full house. Of course, we're going to be helped uh, by the fact that there's another fight in town the next th night, little fight, right, with, <laughs> with Canelo, right, Alvarez, yeah and plan. Uh, so that's great for boxing. Uh, it should be a really fun night. And before we close, this is a spectacular, great, I congratulate both ladies for taking this fight. This is uh, a really, uh, you know, a, a really coin to us kind of event. So it takes a lot of courage to go into the, a fight like this. But also, on the card, there's a 17-year-old kid named Abdullah Mason who's been beating up uh, seasoned pros in the gyms around Las Vegas. And he'll be making his professional debut uh, on this card, Abdullah Mason. Uh, people, uh, that, that, believe me, two years from now, three years from now, There'll be 40,000 people that swear that they were in the arena <laughs> to watch his first fight. At his first fight. Uh, well, we're excited to everybody tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us again. It all goes down Friday, November 5th, right here at the Virgin Hotel in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. All fights exclusive, beginning at 5 Pacific on ESPN+. Plus. I want to thank both champions. I'm going to ask you now to leave your microphones on your chairs and head down front for a face-off. On behalf of Bob Arum, this is Boxing. This is Top Rank. We'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-ins.